Hello guys and welcome back. I thought I'd make a slightly different video today about today's update. So first off was skilling pets. Um, as most of you will know, these have come into the game from 90, the 19 different skills. You can get all of them and in this thread, which I'll link in the description, you can see all the different methods that you can use to get them. Uh, please note that you can't use methods such as silver hawk boots or protein items to get them and also the the way you obtain the artisan um, skilling pets is slightly different mechanic in the fact that it does scale to the level of the item that you're trying to make or you know break down or whatever it is if it's invention um, just due to the fact that they didn't want people just dismantling thousands of bronze daggers at once. As you can see I am currently AFKing fishing to try and get this pet um, I've also been doing this the last couple of weeks, just doing, or sort of every now and then, just when I have some time to make videos or want to watch a film, etc. Um, but it is also worth noting that if I bring it across here, that you, there is a title for obtaining all of the skilling pets, which is Jack of All Trades, and it is golden for those wondering. So it's kind of like Insane Fun of Boss, which is what I've been going for, but for skillers. And then obviously for owning five skilling pets, is just Jack of Trades, which I assume is what they would equate to. The normal final boss which is red so quickly i stand corrected as you can see in my clan chat down here someone else uh, has confirmed to me that the final boss equivalent so the uh, jack of trades normal one with the five pets is silver the other thing that happened today was there are a series of lots of good multiple patch notes so i'd also like to make a quick comment on a couple of these now the first one here is that if i scroll down it says it's here here we go the transfigure 5k and this has been increased to 32k which is kind of nice obviously you don't need 32k but up to 10k or 12k will be nice with Virago I guess um, also there have been multiple tiles at Yakamaru on the sort of northwest side that um, have been glitched for a long time so here a few tiles blocking uh, basically meant that when you ran um, jellies around there was a sort of it basically caused blocking and you couldn't get to certain squares and made your character run in a very funny motion. The other one is also that when the poison tank died, Yakamaru would basically then not spawn planks. Some other great fixes have also been that uh, players can now switch between revolution and full manual mode whilst engaged in combat. I know people that slay and do lots of other things, this becomes very uh, useful. If you swap from doing slayer where you're AFKing to something like raids and then back again and you find yourself mid kill at Yakamaru with revolution on can be really annoying. And the last three updates that I think are really key is the crackling perk will now deal damage based on your main hand damage. This means that it's not always magic and is then for useful at next again. Um, because it used to hit you if it was protecting from magic and your crackling went off it used to hit you for like a 3.5k which is pretty painful um, also your familiar we had this a long time ago and they changed it i'm not sure why but they've managed to change it back so now if your familiar dies or it um the timer runs out obviously or that player dies you ha whose familiar it was all the tradable items so like rock tails bruise etc will drop to the floor um, and then anyone else can loot them after a minute, so just like dropping an item normally on the floor, which is really useful. Um, it was kind of annoying. Also, if you died somewhere where you could actually get back and pick up your stuff with a lot of bruise, etc., it will save you some money. And then finally, um, if I go back to my RuneScape, you can see here that the Comp Cape Telly, a while ago they changed the Max Cape Telly on so that the Max Guild was at the top so you could put it on your ability bar. So now, if I, as you can see, I've bound it to Control T, so if I were to click Control T this would tell you me straight to the max guild whilst having my comp cape on which is really nice actually it's a small tiny little ninja fix but obviously they did it for max cape and there was no reason not to do it for comp it might take a few people that are used to just sort of right clicking and going to about here which is where it used to stand under Ardy farm but I'm sure we'll get used to it within a day me personally going back to pets to finish off I'm not sure if I'm gonna ever go for them I might do it then when I'm AFK there's a few skills I already do just to take up time and when I'm doing other things so that's kind of nice maybe I'll get the five and the silver title I don't know do let me know down below if you guys decide to go for any and which ones um, and uh, if you have any luck that's it for this video guys I know it's pretty different to what I've done before so please do leave me feedback in the comment section below